you about a few things before I start working so we were supposed to go back into college on Wednesday and so we've already been in quarantine for six weeks uh, but they recently uh, extended the MC the movement control order so now we're still in lockdown until the 12th of May and they said that they're not sure of that they can't guarantee that it will still open up by then so yeah, still in lockdown guys, so we won't be going back into the hospital uh, anytime soon. So yeah, and it's about 10 a.m. and I'm just starting to do some work now. So I'm gonna finish up some of my auto tutorials that I've done. So let me take you guys with me. So this is the book that I always write what I need to get done for the day, so so we're in April. So this is what I did, I studied uh, peripheral vascular disease yesterday, I recut on some of what I had done earlier and I also did orthofractures. So this is how I just write down things I've done. Uh, ignore the empty spaces because sometimes I forget to write it or sometimes just isn't the day to actually do some work so we're gonna get started so today I have to recap on these two topics of last week rheumatoid and acute urinary retention and I'm gonna start a new topic today so this planner actually has different quotes and this is one quote I really like. If you talk about it, it's a dream. If you envision it, it's possible. But if you schedule it, it's real. And so each part of the diary comes with different quotes. So believe you can and you're halfway there. So this bit is for the section where you write down uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what we should be doing. So I kind of write my schedule down here for the day. And I write it for the week actually. And there's also different sections in this schedule. Let me show you. This side of the section is just blank so you can write down any notes you feel like. And again, don't stop until you're proud. So another quote. And more space to jot down whatever you want to. So I actually really like this book. So it's kind of very helpful in organizing my stuff. So shall we get started, guys? It's not so easy. Yeah? Um, we've had cases where we diagnosed as type 1. And later on, six months down the line, there was a, there was a growth arrest. So sometimes it's difficult. It's not so easy to really. So you just have to wait and see for everything. It is like one type two, they say no growth disturbance and all that. So now I'm on my way to get some groceries at uh, cold storage. Hi guys. So if you can see my nose, it's literally literally so red so I've been having allergic rhinitis so I kind of get that very often and so I need to use steroid spray for it and I keep blowing my nose so this is how my nose is now and it's really annoying so I want to tell you a story about that so I was I think it was two years ago I was in ENT uh, rotation so I had a, a really nice doctor 
and at that same time when I was having a teaching with him I also had this uh, runny nose and then he goes yeah he was really nice and then he goes um, yeah like uh, I think you have allergic rhinitis you should go get this 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 medication and use this steroid spray because it's very helpful so he was very nice like that just to like tell me what to use but look at my nose it's horrible and then at the end the skin starts peeling so it's kind of really bad so yeah where are the killers? Uh, I think Jenny, um, that last ball that she pulled, uh, I think Jenny could well have a wee colour ball tucked in the back of it. Well, I played a triple game last time and I'm going to triple game now. Alright guys, back to studying again. Wasted too much time today, so let's start. Just soft tissue injury. Be very watchful, look at the x-rays very carefully, consult the senior if you need to. Um, sometimes they're not sure, immobilize, then see back after a week. Or you want to repeat the x-rays, go ahead. So guys, I bought this from Bath and Body Works uh, probably a few weeks ago or a few, probably like two, three months ago. And it's actually really good. I always use it at night before I go to sleep. And it helps with falling asleep and it actually smells really nice. And this is what it's called. So hi guys, just want to check in before I go to bed. It's around half 10 here and I'm tired from this whole day. So I'm thinking of waking up early tomorrow. Hopefully fingers crossed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jill and I do uh, videos on medical school. So guys, today's video is gonna be about how I do medical school from home. So today I have uh, online classes and I've been having online classes for the last few weeks. So currently I've been doing orthopedics, surgery and family medicine. So today's online class I have a family medicine videotaping that has to be done and in that I need to turn on my camera and I have to interview a patient for five minutes and then I'm gonna get feedback from the teacher or my professor on how I have done. So this is just learning how to take a proper history in a GP setting. So we've all kind of done history taking in a hospital setting, in like an inpatient setting, but this is more like a GP setting. So how you need to take the patient's ideas, concerns and expectations. So. So can I know what brought you here? I'm here today because I'm feeling uh, some stomach pain from last night until now. Apart from the stomach pain, is it just the stomach pain or do you have any other problems as well? Uh, stomach pain is the main concern. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I also burp a lot but that should not be a problem. Okay, uh, so can we uh, explore more about the stomach ache? Can you tell me more about the stomach ache? Okay, it feels like burning pain on my stomach mm -hmm. uh, from the belly button side and above. Okay. And if you haven't checked out other videos, make sure you go check them out. And if you do like them, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back with more videos, guys.